but so in this video we're going to discuss about using the AV kit framework that Apple provides to basically play some audios now before I get started um, I basically want to discuss is playing so some of you might be thinking that why do I keep banging on about this is playing so is playing is basically really important in this whole sort of plan architecture of this app so is playing is basically just a building that we toggle between to say if it is playing do this if it isn't playing don't do this which is why in our view model we manipulate that property all the way down here so it's really important that we use this property to basically track the state that each cell is within and we're going to take that a bit further now by using it in conjunction with the audio manager class we're about to create so let's create that now so let's go to our view model and we're going to create a new swift file called audio manager view model so audio manager view model cool and what we're going to do here is we're going to basically create a new class that basically allows us to basically play music. So the first we need to import is AV Kit. And what AV Kit is, is it's basically Apple's framework that allows you to play video, um, audio, live streaming, all that kind of stuff. And what we're gonna do now is create our actual class. So class audio manager view model. Cool. And then we're gonna create our AV audio player. So our audio player is what is actually playing the audio. So private var, we're gonna call this chant audio player. And then we're gonna build be of type AV audio player and then optional. And then we're gonna create our function called playback. And then in this function, we're going to pass in team. So we're going to playback and we're going to use the underscore this time. So playback team. And then in here, we're going to check that property is playing. So if the team is currently playing, so if it's already playing a chant, then we want to stop the audio from playing because you don't want to keep on playing it over and over and over again and building it up. So what we're going to say here is we want to say chant audio player dot stop. Or else if it isn't playing, then we want to play that music. So that sound. So what we need to do when we play the audio is we need to basically get the file and then play it. So in order to do that, we're going to do guard let path is equal to bundle dot main dot path. And I'll go into a bit more detail about this in a minute. And then we're going to say for the resource of type for the first one. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to use the chant file name from this um, team type. So this is where the chant file comes in from this Edom. So what we're going to say here is we're going to basically do a uh, string and we're going to basically do some interpolation. So we're going to say team.id. Uh, chant file dot mp3 yeah and then nil and then we're going to basically return and I'm just going to type this out before actually reviewing the whole class and going through it with you guys because a lot it's a lot to um type and talk at the same time so URL and the URL is going to be file URL path path and I'm going to use a do catch So in the catch, we're just going to print the error. And in the do, we're going to create our audio player. So chant audio player, try uh, AV audio player. And then this is going to be contents of URL. And then chant audio player dot number of loops is equal to negative one and then chant audio player dot play cool cool so let's review this from the top so we have our AV audio player here at the top and the reason why this needs to be a global property is because if we don't make it a global property when we want to access it 
um, from within here, it will actually dispose of it. So that's why we put it here at the top so we can maintain the audio and it doesn't get disposed of in memory. We basically say here, if the team is currently playing, so if it's playing some audio for this, for this um, cell, stop it. And then what will happen is we'll actually toggle it back to the play icon with what we've done previously before or else if it isn't playing so if we hit the play button and it isn't playing then what we do here is we use this function here called bundle main dot path and what that does is it basically gets the resource within the bundle so to see where the bundle is if i just go into the project and if i go to um, build phases and if i go to compile sources uh, oh sorry if I go to copy bundle resources I should say sorry this is where all the resources are within this current bundle so we say the main bundle is here so we're basically saying find the file in the resource with this chant file name mp3 so you can see basically these files here that are in the bundle but if it doesn't find the file rather than forcing it we use a guard to protect ourselves so if it fails to find the file it'll actually hit this return statement here and it will stop execution so whenever you're looking for a file like so like this you want to make sure that you use a guard statement to protect yourself or if not a guard use an if let because if you force it with a force if you force unwrap it and the file doesn't exist the app will crash so just to show you an example of this what we're going to do is we're just going to basically copy this file line here and we're going to copy this into our view controller that we created before and we're just going to place this here and what we're going to do is we're just going to put some random stuff in here right As you can see, now got a crash. So when I force it to basically try and get this file that doesn't exist, it crashes. But if we use the guard statement, it will just literally stop execution. So we don't need to worry about it failing because it just won't execute anymore. So that's why we use the guard statement. So we go back to that file. We basically say, if it can't find it, then don't do any execution. If it does, then it puts the path of the file inside of here. It'll then get the path and create a URL so we can reference it. And then we then create our audio player with that URL. Number of loops, negative one means it will continuously loop forever. And then we say, play it. So we get the file, we set an infinite loop so it never, it just keeps on looping. And when we hit play, it will play it. So now let's integrate this into our delegate, into our delegate function and get the audio to um, play. So now let's go to our uh, view controller and above before when we toggle the playback because we want to play the audio before we change the state we want to say we want to basically use that view model here so at the top here we're going to say private lazy var audio um, manager view model and then audio manager view model. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna call that function that we just created here. So audio manager view model dot playback team. So now what's gonna happen is when someone taps the role, if I just run it now just to show you, what's gonna happen now is when someone taps this button, it's going to play the, it's going to, depending on whether the item is already playing or not. So if it is playing, it will stop it. If it isn't playing, it will play it brand new. And then we'll toggle the playback state to say it's playing or it isn't playing. And then we'll reload the table view to reflect the new icon. So let's test this out now. So let's test this out. And as you can see, it plays the audio and it changes the icon. So if I was to, and you see when I pressed it, it actually stopped the audio and went back to the icon where you play it. But what would happen now if I tap this and I tap another one to play another cell? So let's play Arsenal and then let's tap Aston Villa and let's see what happens. you can see that it 
toggles between the two and it stops the previous one and it plays the new one and that's because AV um, audio player only allows to play one sound at a time when you have one instance of it which is why we only create and uh, which is why we create a private lazy initialization at the top here so we only have one instance of the audio manager and we only play one audio because we don't want to have multiple audios playing at the same time that would just be horrible so what happens if I play Arsenal at the top here and I go all the way down to Wolves and play So you can see when we go all the way down to the bottom of the table view cell, sorry, the table view, it plays the audio and it manages all the states. So we've added the audio player in now and we pretty much built an app. So this is a legit app now um, and you could actually put this onto the app store if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, it's really good. I mean, hopefully you enjoy this as well. So I guess in the next video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually show you a bonus. So like some kind of extra extra credit kind of stuff, if you want to do it, um, I highly recommend you do it. So you understand how um, delegates, um, well, it's not going to be around delegates, but how structs, um, classes and hooking up data between cells or work. So watch the next video to see the bonus, challenge yourself, rewatch all these videos and keep repeating this until you fully grasp all the um, concepts that are taught and maybe when you finish doing it as well you can show me your versions of football chants if that's all like subscribe and share the video and deuces see you guys in a bit